Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on Revit. Um, this particular tip can be applied to um, the Revit mechanical or structural or architectural modules because it's uh, to do with the view range uh, tool. Um, and one of the interesting thing is I'm just working on this uh, ugly house here and I've got a couple of places where I need to use the view range. I've got a couple of windows that are sitting up high here and I've got a door that's sitting down here. And I want these two windows in this door to kind of sit in my main floor plan. So if I go to my main floor plan over here and I zoom into that corner, I've been using the view range tool quite successfully without a problem. And occasionally I've got, see, I've got a view range here. I've got one placed here and I've got one placed here. But on this particular project, I have really struggled. I'm embarrassed to say I have not, I, I'm able to get these windows to show up through the view range, but I'm not able to get my proper detail. Like I want to see my window frame and my window sill. That window needs to be flipped around. I like, I want to be able to see my, um, my window in proper detail. And for some reason, every time I open up this project and I work on it, I go back and I spend another half an hour trying to play with my view range settings in here etc moving them up and down and everything and you know I'm pretty experienced at this and I cannot for the life of me get my window details and it is annoying the heck out of me and similarly with this door now the door one I was aware of because I realized at some point that because I'm not getting my frame and everything I don't get my door swing that I tried pulling this limit of this um uh, view range boundary out and sure enough my door showed up and still uh, it didn't occur to me to try to do the same thing over with these windows and that's exactly all I had to do this is a very basic tip but seeing as this um, had me puzzled I would say for on and off for about a week and a half to two weeks trying to get these windows to show up properly finally the light bulb came on and I clicked on my view range okay which define that area and I all I did was grab my little handle here and I pull that over a smidgen and sure enough my window showed up I tell you I just about hit the floor I was so happy so there's a great tip for you is, is uh, when you create a view range um, the tendency sometimes is to go real narrow on it and I'm a victim of doing that and sure enough all I had to do I probably spent about an hour and a half at least to two hours trying desperately changing my numbers and couldn't figure out why I could not get those windows to show up. I was getting the window opening to show up. I could get the hole to show up, but I could not get the window itself to show up. So finally, when I, it occurred to me, well, this one makes sense. I'll just pull this out and then because I want to see the panel of the door. And then when I discovered that by pulling that out, it fixed my door problem, all of a sudden I went, oh, I wonder what happens if I go over here and do the same thing. And that's all I did was move that about an inch to one side and all of a sudden my, uh, my window showed up and I headed to the fridge and grabbed a beer. So um, there's a great uh, tip for you on using your view range is to make your view ranges just a little bit bigger than what you need specifically when you're dealing with window and door components.